Ed, this is a discussion that's been going on for decades now in Folsom Cordova. The first time this idea of splitting up the schools that was brought up was back in 1994, but this time the district in both cities dished out more than $70,000 for this study to see if the split is even possible. Good evening. Uh, great to have you guys all here tonight. Crosstown City Council is coming to the table with their school district to decide if it's time to split up. I think we're sort of uh, overdue for these sorts of discussions about collaboration and options and, and sort of a strategy that works for both communities and particularly for our kids. City Council members from Rancho Cordova and Folsom sitting with Folsom Cordova Unified School Board members Monday night hearing the results of a state-led study on reorganization. You would still have a district that exists and then one new district. The three governing bodies collecting more than $72 million to pay for the study conducted by Brianna Garcia of School Services of California. So there are nine statutory criteria that are reviewed as part of any district reorganization. Garcia telling the elected leaders this week if the schools split, they'll miss the mark on three crucial criteria. We have one of two options. The study determining a standalone Rancho Cordova district would become predominantly Hispanic with 74% non-white students, most of them from lower income families. Talking about making one district extremely wealthy and another one becoming extremely economically challenged. But over time may catch up with new growth, but we're still talking about concentrating poverty in one place and concentrating wealth in another. The SSC study also shows students who'd enroll at Rancho Cordova schools aren't performing as well in the classroom and specialty programs to help them will be harder to come by. The Rancho Cordova schools and what would be within Rancho Cordova are performing not as well as those on the Folsom side. That just limits their ability in order to be able to have access to other programs and to do things differently. Finally, the breakup isn't fiscally feasible for Folsom schools, according to the study. I have a tough time f fathoming where uh, the, the decrease could be more. Matt Phillips, a school financial analyst, says Folsom students would have about 3% fewer state dollars going toward their education and the district would have to pony up more cash for its long tenured teachers. Most of the um, higher paid, more educated staff are wanting, choosing to go up to Folsom. Anecdotally. Yeah, right. Now again, nothing was voted on last night, although District Board President Tim Huey did request each city council make way for public discussion at one of their upcoming city council meetings. Garcia tells me it's extremely difficult for a district to reorganize without meeting all nine of those criteria, but there's still a slim chance, and even so, she said it could take at least four years to finalize the split.